Hi guys, I've had a couple of people ask me about my setup, so I thought I'd do a quick gear video. I'll start off with the base. It's a Fender American Original 60s P base. Uh, they've got a few others in the Originals line, so I think there's a 50s, a 60s and a 70s, um, but I thought the tone of this was what I wanted, so I went with that. It's had flats on ever since I bought it, and they've it's always been Labella flats. Um, I started off with Labella Deep Talking and switched to their lower tension set because I was noticing a bit of strain in my hands. Um, but to be honest, the tone is not quite as good as the Deep Talking set, so I think I'll be switching back. Um, in terms of the tone, I have it all the way rolled off most of the time. It's rare for me to go sort of more than halfway with the tone. It's usually pretty much off. Um, from there, I go into my amp. We go from the bass into the Ampeg. Uh, my EQ is pretty much set with all the dials at 12 o'clock. I just basically keep things as simple as possible. Um, there's a bit of compression on here, which means I don't need to use a compression pedal, which is quite good because again, simplicity. So from here, I've got an XLR cable out into my audio interface which is plugged in here. That's just my um, mic receiver. So from the interface into my laptop. Hi. And that's about it really. The only other thing I've got is my tuning pedal, which comes out the back of the Ampeg. And if I'm not recording, then I just won't have the interface. So it'll be the same setup, you know, same bass, same amp, but I'll just have my headphones in here. Um, sometimes an aux in if I want to practice with a backing track. Um, I rarely play through the speaker just because I live in a block of flats and live with my sister and I don't think everybody wants to hear bass all day long. Um, but yeah, occasionally for a treat I'll mic up the amp instead, uh, instead of having the XLR coming out of the amp. So just quickly show you that. So I've got a Sennheiser E902 which is a microphone that's used for bass drums and bass so you just put that pretty much in the center of the speaker um, about a thumb's distance away from whatever that is the mesh if you have got multiple speakers in one cabinet then you just choose one of them and place the mic in the center of that but uh, yeah I don't often I don't often use that really I tend to just go straight out of the Ampeg um, into the interface so yeah whatever videos you've watched of mine they'll rarely be straight from the bass into the interface I quite like to have the tone colored by the amp um, it's sometimes I use this instead which is the Ashdown tone pocket so I just switch that out with the Ampeg so bass into here and then line out into the interface pretty much as simple as you can get I think I don't tend to use pedals really um, just because you know, I kind of want to spend my time learning how to play the bass better. And I feel like pedals would take up quite a lot of like additional time. A lot of respect to people that can do it. But yeah, for me, it's just um, something else to focus on. And I like to just keep things simple as possible. So yeah, that's my simple rig.